Hey, what's up friends? I'm John Shrett and uh, welcome to another mining video. A couple weeks ago, I ended up pretty lucky and I ended up snagging this Asus Tough 3080 off amazon.ca. In my last video, I was using an Asus Dual OC3070 and then before that, an Asus Strix ROG 3080. Both of those cards were, were monsters when it came to mining. This new Tough 3080, mm, it was a little bit more tricky. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks for joining. And this channel is about new technologies and generally the finances behind them. Right now, GPU mining still seems to be pretty hot. So that's that's what I'm talking about right now. If, uh, if you're into that kind of thing, please hit a like and subscribe uh, for more content like this. So the Asus Tough 3080. Now I was pretty stoked when, when, I, when I got a chance to get one of these cards because I had heard that the, the Tough 3080 in particular was amazing when it came to mining, something to do with preferred VRAM and how well it worked. I didn't have a very good experience with it, um, particularly when I started to overclock mine, every time I'd unlock my computer and on a Windows 10 machine, my machine would essentially lock up, go black screens, uh, and then sometimes even reboot itself. So I was, I mean, as a normal computer guy trying to troubleshoot things, I was like, what is going on? Uh, if I brought the card back to stock, everything worked fine. It worked perfect in games. It was just when I overclocked the VRAM did I have this black screen issue. Now my typical workflow when I'm uh, mining and overclocking a card is I start with the power limit at 100% and I just start to slowly increase the VRAM. Well, I didn't see the issue right away. I'll actually post in the, in the description below all the settings and my hash rates I ended up getting as I overclocked the VRAM. It was only when I then ran the computer for a while, uh, came back and be checking the morning, check later that evening, that I would go to unlock my computer and it would just go black screen. If sometimes it would reboot, other times it would bring me into the computer, but it like it's almost like explorer.exe was malfunctioning and sometimes you don't get like the taskbar is gone it was it was just a bit sketchy i first considered this card wasn't as good as the rog strix when i mean i raised the vram up to 1100 megahertz and wham right away the computer rebooted i never had that on the rog i brought that up to like 1200 1250 and the vram ended up overheating so much that it would throttle the mining performance but I never had any reboots. But John, what about the black screen? How did you fix it? So while I had the VRAM overclocked, like even 500 megahertz overclocked, yeah, I would come back and my computer would do this black screen thing. I looked it up online. It sounds like other people have experienced it. A couple people left some comments uh, in my ROG3080 video. Thanks for those. Uh, and so I knew I wanted to address it. After a little bit of research, I started to look at, okay, well, what are other people doing when they're overclocking their Asus Tough 3080s? And I noticed that a lot of them are underclocking their core by either 200 or 300 megahertz. Now, with the 3070, the 3080, I didn't have to touch the core at all. I just left it at zero, everyone was good, no issues. So the only difference I noticed was that they, they dropped the core, uh, they underclocked the core. So I said, okay, I'll try it. I dropped it to uh, below 200 and then minus 300. And at the 500 megahertz VRAM that I was using, it seemed to fix the problem. I was able to get a consistent 92 mega hash, which I mean, yeah, I was getting 97 on the ROG, but I mean, I'll, I'll take 92 all day long. Uh, the VRAM temps were floating around 98, 100, which I'm okay with. So I ran it like that for a week and rock solid. No issues, everything was good. I could get 92 mega hash all day long. We were good. But I thought, man, well, what if I just kept lowering the core? Afterburner allows me to bring it down as low as minus 500. So I said, why not? After lowering it down, I went through the process of going from 500, 600, 700, and you can like say so you can see in the description the different mega hash uh, ratings that I would get, the speeds. Uh, I was able to get it up to an overclock VRAM of 900 megahertz. So from 500 to 900, that, that was pretty sweet. It ended up coming up to 96 mega hash. I did try it at 1,000, and within two or three minutes, my computer did reboot. So it's been at 900 now for half a day. 
So we'll see. I'll run it back in the morning, uh, but that's that's kind of where I'm finding the limit is on this card. Uh, but if I can get 96 mega hash and the ROG was doing 97, that works for me. So what was what was the big learn? Well, it sounds like with these tough models, you really need to underclock the core. I mean, without doing that, I, I even just upgraded the VRAM to 500 or any more without lowering the clock and every single time I get the black screen. So if you're having the same issue with the black screen, try underclocking your core and see if that makes a difference. Hopefully this helps with your uh, with your 3080. I mean, at first I thought that I got a junk card and then I was just stuck at 92 mega hash. And that maybe, just maybe these, these second generation 3080s that are coming out have been getting junk VRAM modules, but I don't know, I think I've proved myself wrong today. And the fact that I can get 96, hopefully I can I can keep rocking this for a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you uh, if you learned something or like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned because I ended up getting, say so what, a 3090 tough. So I'll uh, install that shortly and uh, I'll let you know how it is. All right, guys, have a good one. See you later. Bye.